In this video tutorial, I will explain how to make AwareIM applications responsive, so that they look good on screens of different sizes. In today's world, it is important that your application looks good on many different screens. Desktop PCs, smaller screens of laptops, even smaller screens of tablets and even on mobile phones. Your application should automatically adapt to a particular screen size and display itself in the manner most appropriate to the screen size. For example, let's look at the sales portal sample application. This is how it looks on a big screen. On a smaller screen, it looks like this. Note that the images of the team members have been automatically removed to save some real estate. And this is how it looks on even smaller screens. Note that the menu on the left has been automatically replaced with a toolbar, and the menu now pops up from the menu button. The main screen now has vertical layout, and its panels are displayed beneath each other. You can easily test this yourself by resizing your browser. Let's see now how, how this has been implemented. We will start with the menu, which is either displayed on the left or at, or at the top, depending on the screen size. Menus are defined in a visual perspective, so I'll open the corresponding visual perspective. In order to be able to display different menus, depending on the screen size, both menus need to be defined, one in the left frame and another in the top bar frame. Both menus are nearly identical, apart from some visual elements. Note that for each item of the top bar menu, the put on overflow button property has been set to always. This makes sure that menu items are placed on the menu button. Now to make sure that different menus are displayed for different screen sizes, we go to the properties of each frame and specify when the frame is invisible. We can see that the top bar frame is invisible for screens bigger than 768 pixels, and the left frame for screens smaller than 768 pixels. That's all we have to do with the menus. Let's see now how layout of the screen components has been made responsive. Remember that on smaller screens all components are displayed in a vertical fashion. This is achieved by using the responsive grid nested layout in a corresponding visual perspective. First, we need to define the components of the layout. Let's go back to our screen. Our screen has two rows. The team efficiency row with date controls and the row that has everything else. The team efficiency row has two columns, a header and the controls. The Everything Else row has two columns, the list of employees and everything else. This Everything Else column has three rows, and the first row has three different columns. So we define these components as a tree of content panels in a visual perspective. Some of these content panels are containers, 
and only contain other panels, whereas others display specific content, for example HTML or a query. Now, to make this layout responsive, we have to assign width factors to each of these content panels. And where I am implements the grid system of the popular bootstrap package, and these width factors are based on this system. You can define a width factor for a content panel as a number between 1 and 12. For example, we want our employee list to occupy roughly one-sixth of the screen, and the rest should be occupied by the column that has everything else. So we assign a factor of 2, which is 2 out of 12, to the employee list. And a factor of 10 to the container, which is also 10 out of 12. Moreover, you can assign different width factors for different screen sizes. On smaller screens, if there is not enough width to display the entire column, a where I am will automatically wrap the column and display it underneath. You can find more information about responsive layouts in the user guide. Finally, how did a where I am display different content for the employee list? Remember that on bigger screens it displayed photos and on smaller screens just text. The employee list has been implemented by a custom query. Let's open this query. This is the HTML snippet which is repeated for every record. Essentially, we would like to display different HTML snippets for different screen sizes. At the moment you cannot do this directly in a where I am, but users with some CSS knowledge can easily achieve this using CSS and its media capabilities. This is the CSS file used by the sales portal application. And this is the relevant section. You can assign CSS classes to forms, queries, content panels. So with CSS you have the ultimate freedom. I will now talk about other places in where I am where you can use responsiveness. First of all, I will talk about forms. Many forms in where I am are automatically responsive. For example, two column forms will automatically display as one column on smaller screens. So for some forms, you may not need to do anything else. You can also use minimum and maximum width settings for the forms that will help you control the display of forms on screen of different sizes. If your forms are too complicated, and it is difficult to make them automatically responsive, you can design a separate form for a particular screen size. In this case, a where I am will automatically use a different form altogether when the screen becomes small. For example, in the CRM sample application, we have the main editing form designed for big screens. There is also an alternative version of the form called Editing Narrow, that does not have the photo of the customer, uses a single column and does not use the toolbar on the right. To specify that the alternative version should be used for smaller screens, we open the, the main form, go to the screen responsiveness menu item and specify that the alternative form, Editing Narrow, should be used when the screen size becomes less than 1280 pixels. I will now show you how this works. So here we have the CRM sample application and I'm looking at the list of customers. When I expand the row, 
I can see the form of the customer. This is the form displayed for big screens. Now watch what happens when I start resizing the browser window. At this point, you can see that the form has been replaced with a different one. It only has one column, there is no photo, and there is no toolbar on the right, just tabs. And when we get the window bigger, we get our original form back. Queries also support responsiveness. You can specify that a particular column should be visible only for certain screen sizes or have a different width. For example, the All Customers query from the CRM sample application has the email address column and this column is only displayed on big screens. The last responsive feature I wanted to show you is how you can hide and show a particular content panel. Let's look at the library sample application. The main screen shows a list of library members next to the list of library items. Suppose I want to hide the list of members on smaller screens and display a button to show the list back. To achieve this, I need to define a special menu command to the application toolbar. The type of the command should be slide in content panel. I would need to select the content panel I want to hide and specify the width of the screen below which the panel becomes invisible. Let me show you what happens then. We now go back to the library application and start resizing the screen until it reaches the width we have specified. You can see now that the list of members has been hidden and we can see a new button in the toolbar instead. When we click on this button, our list of members is temporarily shown. So overall, there is quite an impressive package of responsive features in AWARE AM.